so some of the coral reefs are thousands and thousands of years old. Yeah, Jan is now riding one of the whales, yes. So have any of you been diving anywhere to see coral, a coral reef? They are very magnificent in uh, that solid world as well. Um, but I want to talk just a little bit about why this is important and um, what is happening to the coral reefs. This again is you see the coral having the basic structure of the ecosystem, but you see many, many different kinds of fish around here um, and you see whales and you see porpoises uh, and you see um, there are also shellfish these all are living together some of these are uh, very abundant and some of them are few so there is a rhythm of prey and predator, as with any ecosystem, living ecosystem. Most coral reefs around the world, most tropical coral reefs, are under a lot of stress right now. They're under stress from uh, climate change and the heating of the ocean in particular but they are also under stress from human activity, such as fishing with trawlers that dredge an area and it scrapes everything off the bottom. They are under stress from uh, human settlements along the coast where there is um, effluent from human activity that is put into the water and uh, some of it is toxic, some of it is uh, super nutrient and so the ecosystems go out of balance. A couple of other things here is that these coral um, tropical corals like where we are now um, are not very deep. So they may be below the water surface um, three meters, eight meters, maybe even uh, ten meters, but not so deep that they don't get sunlight. They do get sunlight. But these, although we see them as brightly colored, the color is not a property of the coral itself. There are algae that live within the cells of the coral. And it is the algae that gives the coral its color and the algae that through photosynthesis feed these coral. When the temperature gets too hot in the water, corals will expel their algae. And then they no longer have the capacity to have food because it is the algae through photosynthesis that provides them with food. And that's part of what happens with bleaching and uh, coral die-off. 
But I want to point out over here along the edge um, something that is pretty recent in research. Here, right in front of me, as I'm walking on the ground, uh, the ground here, you will find two ordinary looking discs. These are plate coral. Plate coral are uh, found in the Indo-Pacific regions naturally, um, also in the Red Sea, but they are um, being studied intensely right now because the um, properties of the plate coral as well as the algae that inhabit them seem to be more temperature resistant and scientists are working to figure out how to save coral reefs around the world to make them resilient in higher temperatures. So researchers are taking little pieces of these plate coral and um, putting them in different conditions of water temperature to then um, be able to breed the ones that are the most resistant to the, the uh, changes in temperature. So there's a lot of interesting things that are going on um, in the marine sciences research right now, today, that are brand new. So if any of you have any interest in this, it is a, um, a growing field.